guys welcome back to my channel I am so excited for this I am doing my hair today it has been an extremely long time since I've done anything with my hair I'll talk about mum life hey so today is going to be hopefully if it all pans out a extreme transformation with my hair before we get right into the video obviously I've got a few disclaimers and just general information first if you guys want to skip over this feel free to use the timestamp down in the description box below, but I highly suggest you stick around and listen to it because this stuff is important. Before we get into it, firstly, my eyes are looking pretty clear today, which is really good. If you guys have seen some of my recent videos, I've been dealing with a massive eye infection. It has almost been a month, definitely on the tail end of things now, which is really, really good, but I'm not sure how they're gonna react when we kind of get the bleach going and the fumes that might make them kind of flare up. So if you see my eyes getting red, I'm not high. <laughs> it's just the tail end of this awful, awful infection. So <sighs> firstly, I am a qualified hairdresser. I've been out of the industry for a little while now because I've been doing mining and then, you know, obviously Hazel just woke up. <laughs> I just heard it and obviously you know being a mom and stuff like that so the products I am using today are professional brand products they are cruelty free and you can only get them here in Australia if you are a hairdresser this video is not so much a how-to video but it's more just kind of showing you guys my process of course if you do decide to follow this tutorial you're doing it definitely at your own risk everyone's hair is so different everyone's scalp's different everyone reacts different so just bear that in mind always do skin tests prior all that jazz also gosh this is like the biggest intro I do apologize today's video is going to be broken down into a few segments obviously I have a lot going on with my hair at the moment and I'm going to be referencing another video which I'll link in the description box below where I talk about virgin application of regrowth I go into a lot of detail and a lot of detail on, on scalp bleaching I draw diagrams everything like it is definitely a must watch video if you guys have a lot of regrowth and you don't want to have that big yellow heat band that happens that video will teach you exactly how to avoid having heat bands in your hair so i'm going to have to do the same technique today because of my regrowth what i've got in my hair currently in february or last year depending on when this video is uploaded uh, i had a full head of pretty much back-to-back -back blonde foils put in my hair my hair was super super light icy gorgeous that took a very long time i think i was in the salon for maybe six hours it took them three hours to foil my hair because i do have a lot of hair and i as much as i would love to go back to the salon and have my hair done one, I can't afford it. And two, I don't have six free hours to sit and have my hair done. All of this dark color you see here is my natural hair. This is my natural regrowth. Then from pretty much here down is all of the old blonde that was foiled into my hair. So for today, obviously I'm doing a full scalp bleach. I cannot do a full head of back-to-back -back foils of myself. So on scalp bleach is the pretty much the only way that I will be able to achieve it. The first part of my hair that I'm going to tackle are these blonde ends. Obviously when I bleach the new growth, it is going to be like super, super crisp and light. These ends are gonna to be too dark. I don't want to, you know, damage them. I don't want to lift them crazy amounts of, of levels, but I obviously still do want to lift it. I just want to freshen it all up. And obviously there is some kind of bits in here that has not been foiled that are like some of my kind of natural darker hair. I'm thinking 20 vol on this is going to be too much. I just, I'm paranoid. Like I don't want to over process my hair in any way especially because this has got bleach in it previously so my plan is to do bleach olaplex and tenvol and just keep an eye on it see how it goes and then we'll go from there so basically just this existing blonde area is what I'm tackling in this first stage it is like super early in the morning like my plan was to get up really early to start this first process of my hair it's 6 30 in the morning that's why the light is kind of funny and I was like, yeah, I'll get up early. I'll do it before Hazel wakes up. But again, if you're not a professional, go to a salon if you can afford it. I know not everyone can afford it, so I am here to help. But yeah, I just, you know, especially with stuff like this, a lot can go wrong. Even for me, a lot can go wrong. So fingers crossed, like it, it ends up okay. <laughs> oh, hello. 
Oh, hello. Talk about timing. Hey, sweetie. You stuck? Hey, sweetie. Oh, you're beautiful. Why don't we get you some breakfast? Change your nappy. <laughs> yeah. You can watch a little bit of Peppa Pig, hey? Have some chill time. Sound good? Oh. Okay, so <laughs> between that first stage and now, it's probably been about six hours only because I've just been busy and got caught up with stuff. So I let the blonde on the ends process for about 20 minutes or so. Not that long, I know, but I just didn't want to push it too far. Gosh, my regrowth looks so much darker now. <laughs> oh. All right, time for the roots. Now, as I said, I've already mentioned this, but I have gone more in depth in a video on how to do a virgin application of the roots. So I will link it down below. Definitely check it out. Before we do that, I'm going to go in with some Olaplex number two <laughs> and basically use that on all of these blonde areas so that way if there is overlap and there definitely will be overlap especially in the back if I can't see at least you know this already bleached part of my hair is going to be protected <laughs> I know, right? Oh my God. So I purposely didn't want to leave like the roots on for a crazy amount of time because I didn't want the top to be super, super light compared to the ends. So I think it's like lifted up quite well. I tried my best to get it as even as possible. So there is obviously some banding from the old blonde in this area here. Um, in all honesty, I'm not going to go back through and redo it. I'm probably going to end up with multiple different tones in my hair, but that is completely okay. I don't want to push my hair too much. And in all honesty, like <laughs> I don't have time to go back in and, and re bleach it. But obviously like if you found yourself in this situation, you could go back in, add a little bit more kind of bleach just to this kind of area here. I did obviously as like it was processing, go back in, really work in really well and try and saturate this area as much as I could. I just found that this area was kind of, harder to color of course you could wrap it up in foils and stuff like that but anyway anyway so i'm going to towel dry my hair as best as i can and then go in with the toner toner today i am going to go for violet not like all out full on violet half um 10.2 f a quarter nine ice and a quarter 9.2 f i have also mixed it as a semi-permanent so i mix it with 1.5 percent developer Okay, so after that first toner, this is the results that I had. They were very, very kind of ashy, silvery, purpley in some areas. And as you can see, that was still quite uneven. Um, I then 
did wash it and it faded out really really quickly so like two days later it was quite faded i then decided to go back in and retone it this time i still use the violet Fanola and i also added in an inebria pastel pink i'll have the mixations down below just to give it more of a movie kind of tone and that turned out awesome i loved how it looked uh however the ends didn't want to take as well like the roots were still a little bit more intense than what the ends were uh, so as that kind of faded out again that did fade out quite quickly I then decided to go back in and re bleach the ends of my hair uh, just because they were still quite yellow and then basically I am left with this super super light blonde um, so yeah I can definitely go back in and recolor it that pastel kind of color but I do have something super exciting planned for just around the corner so stay tuned you guys are not going to believe it. It's going to be awesome. So, yee -hee -hee. very exciting. <laughs>